Well, I'm at my church working on a project. The plan put speakers in this ceiling here so people can, you know, there's the main sanctuary, so people from out here can hear the service. See this closet and that closet? Keep those in mind because this next part, they're gonna come into a big play here. Remember those closets I was telling you about? Well, there's two more closets right above them. And so what I've done is I've pulled the floor out of both of them. Uh, that lighting's not the best down there, but, but anyway, I basically can stand right on the ceiling of that closet, on top of the joists, of course, and then you can kind of see those one bys are acting as the ceiling joists for that curved ceiling. What's that noise? Oh well. But you can all, you can just barely see that white wire. See, the way, because of the curved ceiling, you can't, across the middle here, you can't get across. So, you can see I've got my speaker wire there. And of course you can't see it because I had to take my light that I had right here. But there's a I-beam that runs right along there, so. I ran along the shoulder of the I-beam to get over to here, which will eventually become the left, running the left speaker. You can see my cable pulling rod sticking up right there, and a whole lot of slack down there. Now, the next challenge before I can even mount the speakers is getting the wire down along here to the sound booth, which you can see I've got pulled out and oh, I guess the Lord was smiling upon me because A, you can see this is thick wood, but I found an old uh, light and I was able to pull that out which gives me a nice big hole in which to run my my uh, sticks through or I can push them down from that end and I actually should be able to reach my arm through this hole and just grab my pole stick and bring it through and then once I have the wire here I can run it through this uh, yeah that's a false start but run it through this hole right here hopefully I don't have to make it bigger but we'll see but this light right here was definitely a huge huge saving grace especially considering how thick that uh, that wood is so anyway we'll see what happens here well you can see I got the wires out my hole now I'm gonna out the hole that I drilled anyway now I'm going to get that um, light back in place I'd like to staple those wires you know inside but that's not gonna happen so I'm gonna just assemble this as best I can and these wires are pretty um, brittle and don't feel very um, reassuring and those wires are on a switch that's still hot so I'm gonna talk to the head of the trustees and say hey um, some of that's a little scary um, should we just maybe disconnect that because this lights obviously not in use its twin on the other side there has actually been um, they actually took out the light and put in a wall socket so I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that was but I'm after seeing this I'm not comfortable with the idea of it being live so I'll talk to um, the head of the trustee, see what he says. Anyway, I'm going to reassemble all this, and I don't even know what time it is now. So my apologies about the kind of jump in time. Uh, after I got that wire ran, I actually... Uh, ran into the pastor and she suggested calling her husband to help and I actually was debating texting him anyway because you know 
Cutting holes into a 90 year old ceiling in a beautiful old building is more than just a little bit intimidating, but you can see we did it and the speakers are mounted. Uh, let's see if these are still in here. We actually saved the pieces. Yeah, they're still in here. This is from the speaker uh, closer to me right now. I remember the speaker over by the elevator. noticeably heavier but look at that this is a little inconsistent but that's at least an inch and a half maybe even an inch inch and three quarter two inches in spots just amazing you can also see it's metal mesh the pastor's husband he said that uh, he thought it felt like they mixed some concrete in with this but anyway Got those hooked up. They sound pretty good. Anyway, uh, just to show you real quick, I mounted a Lapai amplifier up underneath the sound booth right there to run them, and then it goes down there and kind of snakes its way over. So, just to show this real quick, man, that's beautiful the way the sun hits it. But anyway, that's just a really, really quick. Uh, overview video and, <laughs> and this is meant to be more of a vlog versus a how-to is what I'm trying to say this one came out pretty good this speaker over here there's some marks on the ceiling we're gonna have the custodian get up there and just uh, touch up the paint apparently that's what painting is something he likes to do so it shouldn't take him very long to go around there with some paint I said that these speakers are these are paintable, but they want to keep them white, actually. So I think they'd look nicer if they were painted the ceiling color, but oh well, it's not up to me. Either way, I could try and pl could play a demo, but you wouldn't really be able to hear anything over YouTube. Well, here's a quick, super quick audio demonstration. Just quickly looked up some NCS music. I'll take a picture of the page so I can credit it. Anyway, doesn't really do demonstrate much, but oh well.